Hey guys, Eric here with Blue Line Fishing. I'm glad you joined us today. As always, your time is important to me, so what I want to do today here in that time is bring you 10 fishing hacks. Hopefully you haven't seen any of these before, but if you have seen some of them, maybe you can watch through the video here and get some that you haven't seen before. Add those to your arsenal, make things a little bit easier when you're out there on the water, out there in the boat, trying to catch fish, trying to get things done, make it a little more efficient. I hope you enjoy today's video. If you do, please give me a like and subscribe, and let's get to it. Thanks. Alright guys, in no particular order, here are the 10 fishing hacks, starting with number one. Alright guys, on this next trick, what I want to show you is a little hack on a stick worm or Senko, and it could be a Senko, a trick stick, it doesn't matter what brand or kind of, uh, of worm it is. You know, you can see on this bait how the hook is chewed it up and some fish, because a few fish on it, has chewed it up right there. One thing you can do, one of the great things you can have in your boat or in your gear, is a lighter. And the easiest thing to do, you can see where that is right there. If you just take this and melt that a little bit, give it a little bit of heat right where that blue comes out, you can see it gets kind of slick and shiny. It will make that worm usable again so you don't go through as many worms. Because, you know, like Senkos and such, a lot of those are hand pour type baits or that hand pour feel. And the, the knock on them is they rip easy. Well, with this, you can, you can burn it out. There's some spots right here too. Burn it out melt it a little bit and it'll get you at least a few more fish and some more use out of that bait without having to pitch it and throw it right out. Another thing you can do is once the scent's kind of chewed up and you can't use it anymore, you guys may or may not have seen these before, this is what's called a power spinner. This one I just make it myself. It's made with two split rings. Um, this has a roller swivel on it and uh, this little pigtail, if you can see that pigtail, hopefully that focuses in for you. Um, and what it does, it gives the bait just a completely different look. You can use a willow leaf blade like this one. You can use an Indiana blade, a Colorado blade. It doesn't matter. Easiest way to put them on is get yourself a pair of scissors. Trim just a little bit off the tail to give it that flat end to it. And then this little pigtail with this little needle tip on it just screws right in to your worm here. And gives the bait a totally different look, especially on those days maybe when the when the uh, when the bite's tough. I'll tell you what, uh, adding in a power spinner is is all the difference in the world. Sometimes, also sometimes they have a tendency when you catch a fish on it, they're throwing the bait around. They'll throw this out, and you'll start losing these. Just a couple dabs of super glue on the here on the end is perfect for it. And then one third thing, one third hack you can do with these stick type worms. Once this is chewed up, or we'll say that. Uh, you don't want to use it as the, the power spinner. You do or you don't. If you take it right below the egg sac here, that slick part before it begins into the ridges, what we're going to do with that, we're going to cut it off or you can bite it off either way. And we are going to make a Ned rig out of it. And this, if you don't want to go spend the money for a Ned rig, all that is is basically just a little blunt end of Cinco, if you will. This is one I, I have actually with the weed guard on it. But look at that. Now from your Cinco, you're getting more use out of that bait as well. You've got yourself a little Ned rig made out of that. And if you wanted to give this Ned rig a completely different look, once again, you could add the power spinner into it uh, with any blade combination that you want. And you're going to make this uh, a whole new bait as well. So there's three different things you can do with stick worms or Cinco's. Uh, you know, burning that bait to get more use out of it. And then cutting that bait off uh, to make a Ned rig out of it. And then adding this power spinner in, which are super easy to, super easy to make. All right, guys, on this next tip, what I want to show you is this is a traditional looking Carolina rig. But the thing is, it's not traditionally tied or set. Uh, what I've done here is on the top, instead of having the main line right here and then your weight and then tied to a swivel underneath and then having your leader line, you can see right here, and I'm going to try and hold this outward of focus, I have two bobber stops, two on top, two on the bottom. The reason being, that makes this a super versatile rig. So you can throw this, you know, as your Carolina rig with your creature bait on it, or whatever it is that you're wanting to throw on that Carolina rig. Then you get to an area, you say you're wanting to do a little flipping or pitching, or just have a more compact rig. I can take this whole thing then, 
and I can slide this on these two bobber stops right there. You can see and the reason I'm using two is because if you just use one at each end and you have a half, half ounce weight or bigger, it's going to have a tendency when you're throwing it and casting it, that centrifugal force is going to want to start pushing just a single bead up. So I use two beads on the top, two beads on the bottom, but I can push this all the way down now and I can push these other two beads all the way down as well. And now I have my rig, whoops, I have a rig that I can throw as a flipping or a pitching bait. And I get to another area where I want to throw it back as a Carolina rig. All I have to do is push this back up as a slip rig. And I can also adjust my leader length because I don't know how many times if you guys have been fishing and you want to all of a sudden adjust your leader from say two foot to a foot and a half, maybe even a foot, something a little shorter like this. And you can't do it because you've tied off on leader. So then you've got to, you know, tie, cut off at the swivel, cut off the main line and basically redo your leader, redo the rig. This is a really neat slip rig that will let you be very, very versatile while you're out there on the water by just using two bobber stops on top and two bobber stops on the bottom on this rig. All right, guys, this next hack I want to show you is something really simple to keep the moisture and hopefully the rust out of, especially your terminal tackle stuff, like your hooks, you know, on your crankbaits and things like that. A simple pack of silica gel. You know, you find these things uh, and stuff you order um, and they're super, super cheap to buy if you go buy some in, in bulk. But I can't tell you how much of a saver these are. I have these in all my tackle trays. Um, I will show you one of the trays here. Like, for example, this is uh, just one of my lipless crankbait boxes. I've got the silica pack in here, and that pretty much keeps the, the majority of the moisture out of most of the pack. Um, also, like, for example, on terminal tackle ones here, I have silica gel down in there um, and it just makes makes it really easy to keep that moisture out so that's an easy cheap fix if you don't have any ass folks when they order stuff to keep these when they find them whatever they buy or when you buy stuff keep them in there you can run to Lowe's Home Depot somewhere like that and um, you can always pick them up nice and cheap so take the line like this I already got it tied here on the rod lay it right down on the floor and what I'm going to do is I'm going to reel my rod tip right up to the side of the spool here a little bit off there. So I'm reeling it right up to the side of the spool here. And that's what I'm doing. It's just letting it come right off the spool and right onto that rod. And I'll tell you what, I spool all kinds of reels like this and I never have a problem with backlashes, line loop, twists, anything like that. So that's all you want to do on that. Super easy. Just rod tip basically up against the spool as it's coming off. It won't give it a chance to coil up or uh, loop up on you and it'll help you prevent a lot of those issues when you're spooling line on a new reel. All right guys, next hack I'm going to show you here is another real easy one. You may have seen this before, but I'll tell you what works like a charm is using a safety pin. And this is a larger safety pin right here, but using a safety pin to organize all your fishing hooks. Um, like on this one right here, I've got a bunch of uh, four odd offset worm hooks on it, but i Put them in all my different uh, terminal tackle rigs because it's so much easier to have these on these little safety pins like this and get the organization you need out of it. And I'll, I'll show you this uh, tray I've got with all my hooks in it for the uh, stick worms, creature baits, things like that. But it makes it so much easier to find them. And I'll show you a little other trick with that too here. All right, guys, this is one of my uh, tackle trays I use just for offset worm hooks, wacky rig hooks, things like that for soft plastics. Uh, you can see I've got some hooks here for uh, rigging up punch punch baits and such. But you can see all these are on the uh, the safety pins. It makes it so much easier uh, to get everything when you need it. Like if I need some of these for the punch bait, they're all on here. They're neatly organized. Uh, makes it really easy to get to. And also another thing I do, if you notice, on the insides of these different ones, I always put, like these are Gamagatsu 4 set, uh, four aught offset worm hooks. I'll take in just each one of the trays... I'll take the type of hook that it is, and um, I will put in there, like these are two yachts, Gamagatsus. I will leave the label in there, or part of the label at least. Um, like these, I know, these are the U-heads, which those that's obvious, but they're a quarter ounce. So if I need some of these quarter ounce U-heads, um, I don't have to guess, are they quarter ounce, eighth of an ounce, whatever the case may be. So keeping these in here like this, um, I think really helps. Get keep things organized and uh, keep you going on the water. Here's another one for you. Instead of buying the uh, 
hook sharpeners like you always see, whether it be the diamond hone sharpeners or the um, little whetstone sharpeners, best thing I've ever found, and I learned this one time from a guy fishing a tournament, is emery boards. Man, these little cheap emery boards, you can get, oh, we'll say, a, a, usually a 10 pack for under five bucks, and you can throw one of these in every tackle rig you have. And I'm gonna show you how to use them, uh, or the easiest way to use them. All right, real easy here, guys. When you use this emery board, what you want to do is you're only going to sharpen in one direction. So and that's towards the hook tip. So I'll start with this, the fine side, give a little bit, a few strokes up under there on this fine side of the emery board and I'll flip it over. I use the coarse side and I'll tell you what, it will, it's almost like using a steel stick on, uh, almost like using a steel stick. On a, on a knife just to finish that tip again. And you can even see on there how it's put a little bit more of a tip on that. So these things, emery boards, very inexpensive. You can put them in every one of your tackle trays. Never have to go hunting for a hook sharpener again. You're out there on the boat or out there on the water fishing. Um, say you've been banging into rocks and different things like that. Uh, timber, you can just give it a few hits with the emery board. Man, you're set to go again with a needle-like tip on your fishing hooks. All right, guys, next hack I'm going to show you. Uh, we're going to use this old school rod that I've got, which I still love, the pistol grip rods. Uh, if you guys watch some of my videos, you know I love throwing spinner baits, and I feel like I have a lot more control with the short rod, pistol grip. Uh, so I still kind of use some of these old Bill Dance looking rods. But long story short, a lot of them don't have uh, lure keepers on them. So I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy lure keeper for that. So first thing we're going to do here is we're going to take a split shot. Set this down here real quick. You can take a, or not a split shot, I'm sorry, a split ring and a zip tie. It's as simple as that. We're going to take this zip tie, put it right through the split ring, and then down on the bottom of this rod right here, where it does not have a line tie, I'm going to zip it up just like that. Cut it off with a pair of side cuts, or you can use a knife or whatever it is you'd like to use. And just as easy as that now, I have, you can see it there, a lure keeper. So now, doesn't matter what bait it is, it's quick, it's easy. Hook it on there, and we are good to go for a lure keeper. All right, guys, on this last one here, I just a couple things I think everybody should have in their uh, their tackle box or in their arsenal. Bottle of super glue and a red Sharpie. The bottle of super glue, you can use it for a little bit of everything. Like the earlier I was showing you how to put the uh, power spinners in. You can keep those spinner bait skirts up, jig skirts up when they start to get a little worn out and used around that O-ring that's on it. So super glue is a must have and the red Sharpie. Why the red Sharpie, you might ask? Well, I'm a really big fan, especially on those tough days, of adding a little bit of red in on whether it be a crankbait, it could be a spinnerbait, it could be anything you're throwing. But I can take this, this red Sharpie like this and just draw a little bit of a gill slit, kind of back and forth on there. You think, man, that doesn't make any difference. But I'll tell you, on those tough days I found where just putting a little bit of red on the bait uh, makes all the difference in the world. You could even use it on soft plastics, but that's something a red Sharpie can do for you. Sounds like a simple little thing, which it is, but uh, give it a try. I think you'll like it. All right, guys, I hope you got something out of that today. Um, out of those 10 hacks, if you have, I know you've probably seen a few, but maybe there's two or three or four that you haven't seen. You'll be able to add those to your, your fishing arsenal there. I really appreciate you watching. Your time's important to me. If you like this video, please give me a like and subscribe. Even hit that bell notification button. That way YouTube will notify you whenever I put new videos out. Once again, thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.